It's an alumni episode of the Bobcat Cub podcast. I'm your host, Carl Schoening. Today, we are joined by former Texas State linebacker and current New York Giants linebacker, David Mayo. David, thanks for joining the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. We appreciate you taking the time and jump into that right there. You've been in the NFL for six seasons. The average NFL career lasts about three years. What's your secret? What's the grind like? You know, I've been very fortunate um, and blessed. You know, I've been around some great pros. Um, you know, when I got drafted in 2015, I got into a room with uh, Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley, AJ Klein, Ben Jacobs. These guys um, were veteran linebackers, obviously, with lots of experience. Luke is the smartest football player I've ever been around. And um, Thomas, at the time, was 11 years in the league something like that and um so um they really showed me how to be a pro and what it takes to be in this league and your work ethic you know your steady habits all that so i've been very blessed to play with them and also i've been around some great coaches through my career and um you know and you know when you enter the nfl you know your days are numbered it's just everyone knows that it's just extremely competitive every year there's new guys there's new talent and um you really just have to go out and prove it every day you know you can't get comfortable in this league and you know that's something that I really took to heart you know when I first got drafted I was <laughs> I was kind of a nervous wreck honestly I was like I, I entered a room you know we drafted Shaq Thompson in the first round when I got drafted and then we had all these veteran linebackers that were all performing so well. And I just, I was like, you know, and I was, you know, you don't want to do this during camp, but you're, you're counting the room. Okay. So we're going to keep like six linebackers, you know? And, and I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to make this team. You know, like I was just, man, I could not believe it, but you know, I just kept my head down, kept working and uh, just fought through it. I ended up making the team. And then, um, you know, every day since then, it's just, you got to prove it. You got to prove it every day. And good on you for proving it with somebody like Luke Keekley ahead of you and minutes being uh, short, but you made your way to New York and you just signed a three-year extension there. Obviously, things are a little bit crazy, but how are you preparing for this upcoming season with uh, the Giants? Yeah, it's definitely different. And everyone's going through it. And, you know, it's, I was training out here. Um, but obviously the facility's closed. So now I'm forced to train at home. And um, it's just different. You know, I don't have all the equipment that a normal gym would have, but I have enough stuff to get going, you know, and obviously field work. Uh, you don't need much for that. You need, basically just need a pair of cleats and you can get, get a lot of work in. So, um, you know, it's been good for me. You know, luckily for me, I got a, a trainer that's willing to come out and train me one-on-one. Obviously, uh, we're staying safe and being extremely clean. But um, it's, been, it's been challenging. And, you know, moving forward, we're all kind of learning as we go. Um, you know, it's going to be – I'm. you know, I don't – nobody really knows, you know, when we're going to be able to start up again, but, you know, we're going to have to learn the playbook by ourselves, basically. Um, Maybe when this starts up and the league lets the coaches kind of do zoom meetings like this and, and do installs that way, it's just going to be, it's just going to be really different. But um, like I said, everyone's going through it and we're all kind of learning this together. Taking it back to your Texas State days, you were a standout linebacker in 2014. You have accolades that I have a list of that I'm not going to go through, but you're aware of, such as Sun Belt Defensive Player of the Year, and uh, you were second in the nation in tackles, all of those kinds of things. Just what was the Texas State experience like, and how did playing at the Sun Belt level prepare you for the NFL? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, You know, when I, when I was coming out of high school, I didn't have any offers for big schools. And 
So I went down to junior college and then when Texas State was moving to Division One, they recruited a lot of junior college transfers. So I, I got my opportunity there. It was the only Division One offer I got. And when I went on my visit, you know, I wasn't before I went on my visit, I wasn't sold. Okay, well, I'm just going to take my first Division One offer. I could have stayed one more year at junior college and played another year and maybe got a bigger, you know, more schools offering me. I don't know. But um, but then I flew out here, man, and I just, I loved it, dude. Texas State is the place to be in my eyes. Like, I want all my kids going there. <laughs> I want all my nephews and nieces going there. I mean, it's just incredible. And, you know, the coaching staff at the time under Dennis Francione, um, you know, I thought they handled the program really, really well. You know, Dennis Francione was a no-nonsense guy, you know, by reputation. Everyone knew that, you know, he kind of, he was really tough. He was really hard on players. He was even hard on coaches. But he ran his program like a professional program, you know, like a legit program. And, and you knew what to expect when you played for him. And uh, he, just, he just held everybody to a really high, high standard. And, you know, I, I just really enjoyed it, man. We, we ended up doing pretty well um, my three seasons there. And uh, we went, I think, five and seven, six and six, and then seven and five. No bowl bid, which was a bunch of crap. But, um, but it was a great experience. I had a lot of fun with a lot of guys. And, you know, that campus is beautiful. Tons of things to do. And, like I said, when I was there, um, you know, the program was run like a professional program. You know, it has everything you need, all the resources you need, nice facilities. I really enjoyed my time. You're on the opposite side of the greater Austin area, living with your family in Georgetown. How, how are things with them? Uh, everybody staying safe and healthy? Yeah, yeah, we're all healthy. Um, we just had a, a baby girl three weeks ago, Everly, and um, it's, it was a weird time to have a kid. <laughs> um, just, you know, it's just, it's just weird. You know, when you have a newborn, you want to stay kind of isolated anyway. You know, they're so vulnerable. But, um, but yeah, it's weird. Like my, uh, we live out here in Georgetown now, which we love. And we're back in Texas, which we love. Kind of did a bunch of moving around this last year. And, uh, but we're happy to be settled and everyone's healthy and doing great. And we're figuring this living in isolation thing out and I'm training and in the garage <laughs> for the time being. And, and, uh, but we're doing good over here. How much do you keep up with Texas state these days? Now that you're still busy during our season, but what do you keep an eye on during Texas state time? Yeah, I, I try to follow the football program as much as I can. It's hard. It's really tough. Cause you know, a lot of the times our games are at seven Texas state games on Saturday. A lot of the games are at six or seven at night. And that's right. When we have all of our meetings the night before the game, all of our meetings start at seven. So um, I really just had to check on my phone and I just track the score, you know, and, uh, and it's when I get an opportunity to earn like a bye week um, that's when I watch the games or, say we have a Monday night game, I'll be able to watch the game. So I'll do that. And um, so that's how I keep up. But I, I stay, I follow you guys, man. I, I want desperately so bad to go to a bowl game and, you know, rub in people's faces and you don't, you know, I don't play with a bunch of guys from the Sun Belt. You, you know, you have a few and that's always fun, but um, yeah, I'm always pulling for you guys. We appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us and eat them up cats. All right. Thank you.